Two of Hollywood's most charismatic leads, Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling, pay tribute to stunt actors in a film by John Wick's director David Leitch, who himself started as a stunt actor. Loosely based on the 1980s TV series about stunt performers, the Fall Guy blends humor, romance, mystery and action. Yes, it's a celebration of our incredible industry and this film is about that, but it's really to just broadcast the incredible and indelible work of stunt performers and what they've done for cinema and what they've done for people's entertainment and they've they've risked life and limb to give people that crackling sense of wonder that you feel in movies and it's time they got their outing. So exciting, you know, we shot it this time last year in Sydney, start, but starting in like November, October time. So to finally be here, I feel like I've had to keep a lid on it for so long. And my brother and I were obsessed with the Fall Guy when I was little, when I was like 10 years old. So, you know, it's so lovely. They were trying to kill me. It's not like I didn't want to apologize. You don't have to explain anything. It was just a flame. God, I hate that thumbs up stuff guy stuff. In a charming challenge to the invasion of digital effects and film, not only is the full guy packed with breathtaking stunts, but it has officially set a Guinness World Record for the most canon roles in a car, performed by stunt driver Logan Holliday. Eight and a half roles broke the previous record of seven, set by Adam Curley for 2006 Casino Royale. I've kind of had a stunt double my whole life, and it's always been this strange dynamic where they come in, they do all the cool stuff, and then they go and hide, and you pretend like you did it. And it's not cool, and it's about time, you know, that we sort of recognize. It. You need to bring him back. Oh. Jody's movie is dead. Why me? You're a stuntman. Nobody's gonna notice you. That's your job. No offense. I mean, some taken. The film follows the story of Cole Seavers, a stuntman who left his job a year ago to focus on his own health. When the star of a big budget movie directed by his ex girlfriend goes missing, he is recalled to active duty. Spectacular, sweeping, romantic. It's uh, funny, it's romantic, it's, uh, I love it. I hope people do too. It's effortlessly fun working with him and collaborating with him. And I think we were all sad when it was over. It was just like Neverland, it was heaven. I'll buy you a drink when this is over. Engage your core. Yeah, boy, stunts! Arab News, Texas.